look who's back. Hi girls, it's Wednesday, and it's been a while, hasn't it? There was lots of confusion about where I was for a long while, and I totally get that. I made the last video that I made, which was talking about Half-Blood Prince, and then it just kind of disappeared. I didn't really give any warning about that I was going to summer camp, so yeah. So we have a lot to talk about. Books that I have read over the summer, I read The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Nightly Academy, reread Deathly Hallows, read Let It Snow, and then reread Paper Towns. First off, I wanted to say that I am extremely jealous that Chelsea got to go to both VidCon and LeakyCon because, oh my god, they, oh my god, they looked both so amazing, and I'm so glad that you got the chance to go. Also, I saw you in Elma Five's video with the no Frodo. I liked it. It was good. Still haven't got my Pottermore email yet, which is like ridiculous. My mom registered me on a different one of her emails um, when they were doing the magical quill thingy. I don't know. But she got me in on the first day and I still haven't got my email yet. What, what is this? This sucks. And unfortunately, I have to go to school in two weeks. Also, my voice is kind of half gone, and it's kind of still kind of gone from screaming at camp, but just bear with me, okay? Cool. First book, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I did not like this book at all, to be perfectly honest. I found the main character, Charlie, ridiculously annoying, and I totally get that he's got, like, issues or whatever, but if the protagonist is annoying, I cannot read the book. It just doesn't work for me, and I would not recommend it to people. I read it because the movie is coming out with Emma Watson, and I'm going to see that because I'm obsessed with her. So, there you go. Second book I read was Nightly Academy, which I love. Oh my goodness. Violet Haberdasher slash Robin Schneider. It was so good. I mean, like, it was kind of childish kind of book but like I, I still liked it third book I read Deathly Hallows does it even need saying like wow I just kind of sounded like David Tennant circa 2000 what was it eight yeah that was cheesy the fourth book I read was Let It Snow which I loved personally even though I am Jewish and I did read it at a Jewish camp but I mean like I loved it. I love how the three short stories between John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, they all kind of like have some kind of connection with each other, and I found that to be really cool. And the fifth book I read, reread, was Paper Towns. Funny story about this, I was stuck in the infirmary or the health center for four days because I got a 103 fever when we went on a trip to Montreal, and I was stuck there after we got back from Montreal. And I felt like crap but on some days I didn't really feel like crap I had maybe like a 99 fever and I read that entire book in one day it got me through that day when I felt relatively okay but I couldn't go outside and see my friends because they wouldn't let me so thank you John Green you're awesome by the way it's John Green's birthday today so happy birthday John we love you Mwah. you're not watching this but whatever that's really about it I really want to know your thoughts on the Deathly Hallows Part 2 movie. Heather, I will see you on Friday.